According to the Bahamas National Trust, the islands of Grand Bahama, New Providence, Abaco, and Andros represent what is known as the Pine Islands. The upheaval of these delicate systems by increasingly destructive hurricanes and climate change, could these areas known for their beauty one day be reduced to a page in history? Well, Lloyd Allen has more in this first part of a special feature on the Bahamian Pine. There are a number of pine islands located through the Bahamas spotting trees just like this one. But is enough being done to protect them? According to forestry expert at the Ministry of Environment and Housing, Christopher Russell, the conversation about protecting the Bahamian pine comes down to a science. The scientific name is Pinus Caribbean variety Bahamensis. We have one of the three varieties of Caribbean pine that's indigenous to the Bahamas and also Texas Caicos Islands also has the species as well. As this species covers a vast area across northern Bahamas, there are specific protected zones. The Rand Nature Center and the Lucaya National Park, Grand Bahama, and the Abaco National Park in southern Abaco. Russell says both areas were significantly damaged during 2019's Hurricane Dorian with continued threat from climate change. East Grand Bahama. You're talking in excess of 70,000 acres of forest areas were totally wiped out by the storm. And then on Abaco, around 45,000 acres. The cause? So you can imagine when the, the storm surge came and the water came on shore and settled for a while, that water percolated into the ground system. Of course, it impacted those trees. Russell notes that as regrowth has not started even up to this point, it could be years before parts of Abaco and Grand Bahama see even a semblance of a once flourishing pine forest. Here's the solution. These areas are where we want to focus our main protection in the first instance in terms of the forest ecosystem because they're very diverse uh, and they're associated with many different wildlife and, and, and uh, we talk about the wildlife, the birds and the other animals that are associated with the forest. In part two, we will explore what one corporate partner is doing to restore the flora of these islands and what you can do to maintain these areas of the country. Lloyd Allen, ZNS, Network News.